Hello everyone, I'm Joanne. Welcome to my craft room. I am an affiliate for Spellbinders and other companies. There are links below for you to click on. When you do that and place an order, I receive a small commission and that's at no cost to you. Thank you so much for supporting my YouTube channel. I just made it to 7,000 subscribers and I really appreciate you guys subscribing. So I know um, last month I did videos, it was like one a day. And I had so much fun. Every day I was making um, cards, which was just so much fun. And then I kind of got called back into work a little bit. If you're new to my channel, I am a dental assistant in the state of Tennessee. And the last office that I retired out of, sometimes they need a little bit of help. And so if somebody's out sick or whatever is going on, I'm trying to get the sun out of here. So um, I got called in to work and I have to work a little bit through this month. I'm just telling you guys this because this month it won't be a video a day. Um, you know, so I'm trying to work it around working some nine hour days, that kind of thing. And um, yeah, <laughs> so sometimes I just get tired. Yeah, and when I come home from work, I just want to sit. So I have to admit that, right? But today I'm home. So which is wonderful. And um, so it'll be like on and off this month um, until uh, they get everything figured back out at the office. And then I will slip back into uh, total retirement again. And I love that. Okay, so um, here we go. I want to go ahead and start with uh, this video with the fairy tale carriage. So cute, right? And then uh, in the last video, we had made the sentiments after I made this little fairy and with her little dancing legs here, how stinking cute is she? Um, so that was the last video that I did. And I did the happiness sentiments right here. They are better pressed. You can also hot foil them, but I have them better pressed. And um, I thought that I would just continue to use what I have already made. Now, I, then I incorporated in for the background our um, perfect touch rectangles and tags. And I used the outer one. And then I skipped one. Let me show you. I used the outer one, and then I skipped one, and then I used the third one. Okay. <clears throat> so then I decided to use some, of course, when I did that, I, or when I was looking at that, actually, I decided to use this beautiful storytelling sunshine prints. This is a 12 by 12 paper. Oh my goodness, they, it is so pretty. They also sent me one that's like a fall uh, type, and I use that in another video, but th I thought this was perfect for our little carriage today. I love this purple, and um, just a lot of fun. So, I used that, and then for the gold, I used the treasured cardstock. So all the links are below for all of this, and um, you can click on them and order if you'd like. This is so cute. This would be fantastic for a wedding, you know? I mean, I just think the little carriage, I think that that's just so sweet. So, um, you know, and many other things. You could do hello. This uh, I did. Um, what I'm going to do is today was amazing making memories just like that. And that's what I'm going to do on here. So I cut this beautiful, um, this is really nice cardstock, uh, this designer um, cardstock. I cut this with the smaller uh, labels and tags. Okay, so let's start to put this card together. Um, like I said, I have just a little pink background here, and I'm using these wonderful uh, perfect touch rectangles and tags right here. I like this little design. It's very subtle, but it's fun. I guess now, I had to stop for a little bit there. Um, I can open these drapes. There we go. Get some natural light in here, right? There we go. Okay. All right, now, let's go ahead and start to glue, and then we'll put our little fairy tale carriage together, which makes an absolute wonderful focal point on any card. And, um, you know, so you could use it for many different uh, occasions, I think. But I think it's just so sweet. I just fell in love with the little carriage. Let's go ahead and glue this down. And right here in the center. Just like that. And then we're going to glue this one to the front of our card. Our card base is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. This will also fit on a top folding card that's 11 by four and a quarter, scored at five and a half. And this is the largest one uh, in that 
collection and it fits the full front of the card without you even cutting okay or measuring it's the die that does the work for you okay on this outside one right here so I think that that's also also a lot of fun now let's do today was amazing I want to put that up here so I uh, like I want to put my sentiments on first uh, because then I want to know where to put my little carriage right Boy, I miss being in here. Whew. But I think I'm almost done with the working thing again. I think I'm real close, so which is very nice because I'd rather be here in the craft room. But <laughs> So here we go. Just some nice liquid glue. And I'm just going to put it right here. I thought like even for a wedding, whoop, hello, even for a wedding card, if you did that carriage in all white, wouldn't that be pretty? You could do it in white and silver for a wedding. Look how stinking sweet. Isn't that adorable? That is so cute. Okay, so right here is a little heart. Here's the, let's go over the dies. Okay, so you have two wheels. These right here are the drapes for the inside the crown and then the carriage very very simple easy peasy with these dies right with this whole design um, so a lot of times when you have something small like this what you want to do is embellish behind it so you want to use um, like I'm using uh, these dies you might want to use circles you might want to use ovals you know something like that to go behind it so work on your background when you have something like this going on and um, I think that'll help you guys too you know in design I just have a piece of gold uh, um, glittered metallic and I'm just going to glue it right back here so that my, the little heart is gold. That's all that is. So let's go ahead and put some glue around that heart and I'm just going to tack this right in here like this. Okay. Now it takes a little bit for um, glittered cardstock to adhere okay to cardstock. Now the wheels, very simple, these little dots right here, go ahead, right there, and I'm going to just put my wheel on. Let that get sticky, there we go. Or, you know, you could have put a little bit of glue right there, and the glue dries clear, so but that's where the wheels go. Isn't that so cute, the little stepping um, part of it there on the outside of the carriage? Look at how adorable that is. That's so cute. <laughs> now, <clears throat> here we have like a little... Um, decorative part and I've looked at I've looked up everything and if you're going to add the crown the crown should go in front of that now, so you don't really need to have the crown I suppose you could put it over I don't think that looks good um, but I believe the crown goes over top of that okay so I'm just going to add a little glue to here because that's what contacts the crown and I'm going to put that on right there and I'm going to just follow the arc of the carriage Let me hold that just a second. You know I get impatient with glue, right? If you follow me. I can't believe I have 7,000 subscribers. I want to thank you guys so very, very much. That really means a lot to me. Okay, now we'll look at the curtains here. Do you see this? Let me point this out. This like little lip right here. The larger part on the top, this is like the tie back, and then that's the bottom, okay? And then there's a little dot there, but it's like this little arc right here is where you definitely want to have glue and I believe this little dot down here will contact okay and we're just going to place this on the inside of the carriage I'm going to do the other side really quick because we we might need to move our drapes around just a little bit right there And look at that. See, they touch at the top. Okay, and if you put the arc right where it needs to be, it's absolutely perfect. Thank you, Spellbinders. Is that not so stinking sweet? <laughs> that is so cute. 
a, that's adorable. That's an adorable card. And two, this is a fantastic scrapbook um, set. Now, I really want to pop that up because I think that'll look nice with the little dimension to it. So I'm going to use my small foam. Now, this is not how many come in your package. I have many packages stuffed into one bag. I, I'm always afraid when I do this. I'm like, they're going to think that that's how much they get. You know? <laughs> so, but I just stuff them all into one. This way, I have just a little bit of organization, which you guys know, as crafters, we strive for. Now, I'm also, do you see what I'm doing here? I'm holding that down, too, with my foam. <clears throat> I'm going to put two more on the side just because this thing is little and it's going to help hold my drapes in too. Perfect. Absolutely. Okay, let's turn this around. And as you see, I didn't put any on the wheels because they're just going to hang. And I'm just going to place this in the center of the card. And it's just sweet. That is wonderful. So here are two cards that I've made from that collection. This one with our little um, fairy with the dancing feet that I think I love these little dancers. I think it's so cute when they swing back and forth. And I kind of had her flying in the air. And now we have this little cottage one. Okay, let's see. The next video should be with um, I Got Home Sweet Home. Okay, so that's well, that will be the next one out of this collection. And I'll be using my uh, some of the other uh, sentiments that I did with the Better Press on the next video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.